Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on leveling. Let us read the question. During fly leveling, the following notes are taken. Back sides are given and four sides are given. The first back side was taken on a benchmark of reduced level 100 meters. From the last back side, it is required to set four pegs each at the distance of 30 meters on a rising gradient of 1 in 200. Find the following reduced levels using rise and fall method. Determine the stop reading on the pegs. Apply the arithmetic check. You can see that there are 5 back sides. So there should be 5 4 sides. But here only there are 4. That means after this back side, some of the values are missing. In the question itself, it is given from the last back side. It is required to set 4 pegs. So after this back side, there will be 4 readings. We can find these readings very easily because these readings are taken on a rising gradient of 1 in 200 and in the peak interval of 30 meter. Since these readings are taken on a rising gradient from the last back side to the last four side, there will be only rise and there will be no fall. Let us see how to find the rise between the consecutive readings. The gradient is 1 in 200, so 1 vertical and 200 horizontal. For 200 it is 1, but I need the rise for the distance of 30. In this way I will get the rise between the two consecutive readings as 0 0.15 meter. In the table let us enter the first back side and the first four side and then the second back side and the second four side and then the third back side and the third four side and then the fourth back side and the fourth four side and finally this back side from the last back side there will be four readings out of the four readings the last one should be the four side and the other should be the intermediate sides, the first back side was taken on a benchmark of reduced level 100. In the stations number 2, 3, 4 and 5, we have both back side and four side. So these four stations will be the change points. This reading was taken on the peg number 1. This will be in number 2. This will be in number 3. And this one will be in number 4. We know that from this back side to this four side, there will be only rise. The rise between two consecutive reading will be 0 0.15. Let us enter all of them. Let us keep this intermediate side as x. This minus this, we will get positive 0 0.15 because it is a rise. Using that concept, we can find x as 2.27. Let us enter that. In the similar way, we can find these three. Otherwise, we can apply a shortcut. All these three are rise and having the same value 0 0.15. So to get these three values, we have to subtract 0 0.15 from every reading. This minus 0 0.15, we will get this. This minus 0 0.15, we will get this. And finally, this minus 0 0.15, we will get this. We need to find the remaining rise and fall. This minus this, we will get a negative value. So that should be in the fall. This minus this, we will get a positive value. So that should be in rise. This minus this, we will get a positive value. So that also should be in a rise. Finally, this minus this, we will get a positive value. So that also in rise. Now we need to find the reduced levels. This minus this we will get this. This plus this we will get this. This plus this we will get this. And then this plus this we will get this. And then this plus this we will get this. In the similar way we can find these three. Let us find the total. After adding the back sides we will get this. 
and then after adding all of the four sides we will get this after adding all of the rises we will get this there is only one fall we can write that now we can apply the check summation of backside difference summation of foresight will be equal to summation of rise difference summation of fall and that will be equal to last oral difference the first oral for all three we will get the same value hence okay now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video